Hey Aquarius, welcome to your weekly love reading <clears throat> for Aquarius, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from today, August 7th to the 14th of August. Keep in mind, guys, I'm no longer doing my pre-shuffle sessions for anybody who's been with me for a while. I am going to go over my meditative session and then get into the reading. Aquas, <laughs> tapping in your energy really messed up my throat chakra. <laughs> And I was doing so good, too. I was like, I was feeling really good. Um, there's definitely some communication that needs to happen here, Aquarius. I was picking up a lot of energy of seeking knowledge, like Eight of Pentacles energy, trying to understand something, trying to gain understanding from a situation. I feel like it was about um, a really awful event that's happened or something that happened between you and another person. I actually heard catastrophe. I heard catastrophe. Trying to make sense of it and also seeking enlightenment in the process. Yeah, just trying to gain understanding, trying to seek answers about how it happened, why it happened, what the point of it really was, <clears throat> especially regarding the spiritual aspect, especially regarding the spiritual aspect. Guys, like I was fine. I was totally fine. I did Gemini. I did Libra. You guys can see I was doing good. And then I tapped into your energy <laughs> and my throat chakra was like, what the fuck? awkward there definitely needs to be some communication happening here okay um that's how i think a lot of you are going to be finding your answers <clears throat> is through having conversations or communicating with someone to gain understanding of the full picture of the full story if this was a fight or a breakup of some kind get that closure have that conversation get that truth out there that see already it's sounding better that's going to really bring in clarity for you and also enlightenment. I feel a lot of you are seeking enlightenment specifically or someone that you're connected to. When I tap into energy for meditative sessions, am I focused? Okay. When I tap into energies for meditative sessions, it's energy that's in and around you. So it could pertain to someone you're connecting with, not just you specifically. Um, but definitely all about getting full answers here. And I feel a lot of tortured energy around that of whoever is really struggling to seek these answers out, really just not being happy with the process because it's very difficult. It's a struggle for whoever is doing this. Uh, <clears throat> I did also see a snake, which was interesting because snakes to me are very scorpionic. You could be um, dealing with Scorpio. You could have that in your chart. But I feel very tra transformative energy, creative energy as well. Aqua, some of you are really getting creative at your career. Some of you are really taking off as far as your career is concerned and as far as your money is concerned. But I do feel a transformation process trying to happen, like a healing process trying to happen for those seeking answers, seeking clarity, seeking honesty. Like, just tell me what happened. You know, that kind of energy, that kind of energy. There's transformation happening there. Healing will happen, but I do feel like it's only going to come with communication, okay? Hold on, sorry, this curl's making me crazy. Anyway, all right, Aquas, let's go ahead and get into your reading. <clears throat> For anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Okay. Oh. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love from now until August 14th? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love from now until August 14th? <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love from now until August 14th? Some of you need to protect your crown. Mm. Yeah, some of you need to protect your crown. Um, I'm just getting a lot of like lightheadedness. For some of you, it's headaches. Some it's dizziness. Your, your crown is too open. It's too open. And you might be getting almost too many intuitive hits. That might actually be adding to confusion for some of you. <clears throat> Make sure you meditate on healing that energy. Because of my voice, I'm like, oh God, I, I want to tell you how to do it, but there's, there's a lot of different things to do. Listen to music. Visualize white light around your crown coming from yourself. Ask your guides to help you. Also keep your head covered. Keep your head covered, okay? <clears throat> Any messages for Aquarius regarding love from now until August 14th? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love from now until August 14th? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love from now until August 14th? Wow. <clears throat> Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? Let's see what we have here. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. King of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Guys, communication needs to happen here. Communication really needs to happen here. It's not happening. It's dead silent is actually what I'm getting. Dead silent. I feel like this king is the one who's seeking clarity. 
Yeah, this king is the one who's seeking clarity and also enlightenment. Um, <clears throat> this can definitely be a female. It doesn't have to be a man, but it's very masculine energy, very Aquarian energy, and you guys are Aquarius, right? All right, let's see what else we got. Wow, hold on a second. Got a lot of cards that came out here. We have two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, could also be Earth or Fire. Then we have Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy. Then we have this, yuck. Five of, <clears throat> almost said five of swords. Five of wands in reverse. Leo energy, almost said Libra. Leo energy, uh, judgment in reverse. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. On the bottom, we do have the queen to the king. Very interesting, because the king is the one who's not speaking, but I'm feeling the urge to speak. The queen I'm picking up on, I wouldn't be surprised if this queen comes out again, because I definitely feel, even though it's not on the board, I definitely feel strongly that it's coming up for a reason. It's almost like one party is deathly afraid to speak and the other one's ready to speak, is what I'm getting with this. And with this energy, ugh, it's like the wheel will turn forward when this energy is dealt with. It feels very concurrent. Concurrent being like happening at the same time. Like once this energy is addressed, this energy will come in. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's see what else we have here. Any other messages for Aquarius regarding love? Any other? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Come on. <laughs> Fool in reverse. Aries energy. Also Aquarius because it's a Uranus card. Any other messages for Aquarius regarding love from now? Oh, Jesus, guys. <laughs> oh, that's better. That's better. From now until August 14th. And then we end, wow, with the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. I love the way this reading's ending. I love this ending energy. This is taking a big ask risk towards long <clears throat> towards long term security, even family as well, wanting to start a family for some of you. Overall energy, oh, four of cups in reverse, Cancerian energy. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. Give me a minute. Um, actually, I'm going to put you guys on pause. I showed you guys all the cards already, but clearly I need to do something about my throat chakra, so I'll be back. Hold on. Okay, Aquarius. I think I'm good to go. Oh, I already feel it creeping back. Damn. All right. I'm just, it, this is just going to be that kind of reading. Definitely work on your throat chakras, guys. Um, <clears throat> so this King of Swords energy He's not talking. He wants to talk, though. I can feel it. Like, he's really kind of itching to talk, really wanting to speak about something. But with this energy, this energy has to be addressed. Five of Wands in reverse and Judgment in reverse. There definitely was a, was a fight here or some kind of confrontation. Aggression. Something that was very aggressive. Something that was very aggressive. It already happened. It definitely already happened. And this king knows that it has to be addressed. But that's why this king's not talking. Overall energy is the Four of Cups in reverse. It's like rejecting the whole thing is kind of what I'm getting. Re trying to reject the situation, but they're not able to. They can't really get over it, is kind of what I'm getting at. <clears throat> they can't move past it on their own. I think this king thought they could. Whatever happened, whatever happened with this energy in the past, whatever this fight was, this confrontation was, whatever the competition was, rivalry, again, aggression at the center of it, whatever that was, they have to address it to move forward, to move forward into this energy where I'm getting a lot of growth, Growth and balance, but I'm also getting a decision here at the forefront of it as well. What is this decision? Can't pinpoint what the decision is. We'll get into it later, but they're rejecting it. They're resisting it. <clears throat> they're emotion Emotionally, they don't want to go there. That's what I'm getting. Emotionally, this king does not want to address this at all. <laughs> They don't want to, they're fighting that, but they know they have to talk about it because they want forward movement in their life with that Wheel of Fortune energy. They want stability in their life. They want forward movement. And most of all, they want their Ten of Pentacles. And they know it's going to take a risk to do it because the risk is addressing this and they're terrified to do that because they're emotionally rejecting it. Okay? Oh boy. All right. So let's get into what actually happened here. Let's look at the Five of Wands in reverse. Let me use right away to clarify. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> So you have five of wands in reverse for Aquarius regarding love from now until August 14th. So you have five of wands in reverse for Aquarius regarding love from now until August 14th. 
So I have a five of wands in reverse for Aquarius. <clears throat> Try not to roll my eyes. <laughs> Uh, tell you about five of wands in reverse for Aquarius regarding love from now until August 14th. Let's see what we got here. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Nine of wands, Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo with the eight of cups in reverse, Piscean energy. You know, I'm getting two different things here, Aquas. This king of swords, whatever this fight is, or was, whatever this fight was, again, I'm feeling that urge to like move forward, but they know they have to dress up, but they're terrified to, they're terrified to emotionally go there, right? Sensing that definitely with this energy, like emotionally not wanting to go there, but at the same time wanting to just kind of bulldoze through to get through it, to get to this energy of moving forward, to get to an energy of a 10 of pentacles. <clears throat> I'm also getting this energy of running away, running away. Running back to something. Oh, this is interesting. Retreating. This king, whatever this fight was, Aqua, whatever this confrontation is, it was, was, was. I'm saying I'm also getting is because I feel like some of you this just happened. Yeah, some of you this just happened. Most of you it feels really old. Most of you it feels really old though. We all work the energy differently. I'm getting this energy of running away to something they're familiar with. The eight of cups in reverse can also be a returning energy of emotions. Something came up in them emotionally in this fight, in this argument, whatever it was, and they ran away. They ran away or ran back to a situation. If you were dating this person or just dealing with this person, they could have ran back to their old person, okay? <clears throat> see what else we got here. So I have five of wands in reverse for Aquarius regarding love from now to August 14th. So I have a five of wands in reverse for Aquarius regarding love from now until August 14th. Yeah, and this is the issue that needs to be addressed. They're so afraid to talk about it, but at the same time, ee, I need to talk about it. How do I talk about it? I don't want to go there. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Nine of wands and I'm getting regression, 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 regression. This person, whenever this occurred, whenever this five of wands energy occurred, it made them regress is actually what I'm getting. Nine of wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy and ace of wands in reverse. Mm. Losing passion for something. Give up, give up, give up. I give up, I give up, I give up. It's that kind of energy. Yeah, totally running away. Totally running away. I give up on this. I'm not doing this. I can't do this. I I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Emotionally, I can't deal with this. I'm going back to what's comfortable. I'm going back to what's familiar. I can't deal. I can't deal. I can't deal. Overall and overall energy. King of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Double confirmation there. Yeah, it definitely was this king. Yeah, this king ran away. For some, they ran back to a situation that they were emotionally comfortable with, like an old relationship or situationship, and they just gave up. It's like they panicked. That's kind of what I'm getting. They kind of panicked. I give, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. It's that kind of energy. Underneath that though, Ten of Cups. So this is what's weird. Ten of Cups, Piscean energy. Underneath that, the freaking sun. The sun, Leo energy. Whatever this situation was, this is what's interesting to me, Aqua. This king ran away because they panicked. They panicked. Can't deal, can't deal, can't deal with this. But what they were dealing with was a Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups in the sun, like ultimate happiness and freedom. It's almost like they're afraid of happiness. But, you know, even in, even in the best of happiness, you know, fights happen. I think this person was having conflictions about it. Whatever this Ten of Cups energy, and Aqua, I do feel like this is something you shared with them. Or again, this could be you as the King of Swords sharing this Ten of Cups with someone from the past. Uh, with, you know, another person. Because definitely this is a past argument for most of you. I feel like it was mostly like inner conflicts um conflicted within oneself about it like i can't be this happy happiness doesn't happen to me <laughs> is that kind of energy i don't get this happiness this happiness isn't for me this is too good to be true there's something up there's a catch and they freaked out they freaked out they ran away to something else that they were comfortable with and they just gave up I can't deal. I can't deal. I can't deal. This is like, this is too good. This is too good. I can't deal. I'm just going to freak out. I'm just going to fight with you. It's like this freaking out moment. They they had a fight. It's like it led to a lashing out. Thank you. They couldn't deal with how good it was. So they freaked out. They freaked out. They lashed out and they ran away. 
and they gave up. Wow. This person, I think, is just deathly afraid of happiness and emotions. Nothing lasts forever. That's how this person thinks. Nothing lasts forever. It was going to end eventually. Wow. This person's like rationalizing it. I think they've already done that rationalizing process. This is what needs to be addressed. This event needs to be addressed of running away, being terrified of happiness. It was going to end eventually. That's literally how this person thinks. It was going to end eventually. So why not just end it anyway? Why not end it before I just, I get, you know, heartache? Why don't I just end it before something terrible happens to me? And King of Swords in reverse, the fact they came up twice like that, um, not only is this something that they really need to address and talk about, they don't have a choice is what I'm getting either. Like whatever fortune they want, whatever forward movement they want, it requires this to be discussed first. Um, but the fact that they're King of Swords in reverse, that's usually someone who is very uncomfortable with emotions, someone who can be very abrasive in their communication, someone who can lash out quite a bit, could even be a narcissistic energy for some of you. Yeah, they just, they're not comfortable with happiness. They're not comfortable with stability. They're not comfortable with emotions. It was just too damn good to be true as far as they were concerned. Too damn good to be true. Something was up. Something was going to happen. There's a catch. It's almost par paranoia too. A little bit of paranoia. And they lashed out and ran, and ran away. And for some, they ran away back to an old relationship or an old flame. Jesus. Okay. Keep it moving. <laughs> Keeping it moving. So the Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. They have to address all that energy I just went over to get this kind of forward movement and this kind of balance. Knight of Pentacles is growth. It's stability to move the wheel forward. But that Two of Pentacles is screaming at me because I do feel like there's a choice here regarding that forward movement. So let's look at the Two of Pentacles. Uh, I'm going to go for Steampunk. Let's do Steampunk for the Two of Pentacles. So I have the Two of Pentacles for Aquarius. Regarding love from now until August 14th. My guides are making jokes and I'm like, that's not appropriate. <laughs> I can't say that. That's not appropriate because this is kind of heavy and they're making jokes about it. Um, like you were killing them with love or this person was like being killed by love. It's like, I, I get it. They're trying to make a lot of the situation, but inappropriate. Tell me about Two of Pentacles for Aquarius. Regarding love from now until August 14th. So what about this Two of Pentacles? Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. I'm hearing negotiations. Hearing negotiations. Tell me about Two of Pentacles for Aquarius regarding love from now to August 14th. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. For Aquarius, regarding love from now until August 14th. Tell me about Two of Pentacles for Aquarius, regarding love from now until August 14th. Tell me about Two of Pentacles for Aquarius, regarding love. Let's see here. The Fool. Yeah, the decision to make that risk. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card. Remember, they want to take a big ass risk towards a Ten of Pentacles energy. Ten of Pentacles, like I said, for some, I'm feeling a step towards uh, creating a family, step towards creating a business, long term stability, a home, a home. Oh, a warm home. Oh, I kind of like that. I like that. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Figure out how to do this. They have to address it. They have to talk about what happened. They have to talk about how they ran away. I think they're trying to avoid that, but they can't. Temperance. Oh, you can't pick it up. Temperance, Sagittarian energy to find balance, to find peace, to find healing here. How do I heal this situation? Uh, I like that Temperance is here. It's also my uh, divine intervention card, my fix it angel card. And there is a little bit of divine guidance here. They're being divinely guided to balance out this situation, but to do that, they have to talk about it. There's no avoiding that. They're trying so hard to look for a way to not talk about it, but they have to talk about it. <laughs> Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, Page of Pentacles in reverse. Trying so hard not to see that. That's what I'm getting with that. Trying so hard not to see that, to not address that. 
Page, because Page of Pentacles, it's about the tangible. It's actually about studying. It's about new perspectives. It's about looking at things, looking at the tangible, presenting the tangible. They don't want to do it. They don't want to do it. Well, that's too damn bad. If they want, if they want their Ten of Pentacles, they're gonna have to do it. Tell me about Two of Pentacles. Tell me about Two of Pentacles for Aquarius regarding love from now until August fourteenth. Seven of Cups, Scorpionic Energy. What are my options? Mm. <laughs> what are my options here? I'm also getting like, oh God, what's that term? Like heart all a flutter? That's so like fantastical. Heart all a flutter. Oh, this person's nervous. That's what this is. This person's nervous. Looking at all their options. Again, it's like they're looking, they're looking they're like, I don't want that option. <laughs> I don't want to have to address it. I don't want to look at that option. Stop making me look at that option. I don't want to look at that option. It's kind of funny. Tell me about Two of Pentacles for Aquarius regarding love from now till August 14th. Oh, wow. Yeah, now we have the Six of Swords, Aquarian Energy, Peace of Mind. That's what they want. This person wants peace of mind. They're looking at all their options on how to heal the situation, how to take that risk. What's the best route? What are my options? Stop making me look at that option. I don't want that option. I don't want that option. I don't want that option. I'm hearing too bad. I'm actually hearing too bad. I don't want that option to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Too bad. That's too damn bad. You want peace of mind? It's time to talk about it. Overall energy, Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. And look, that Five of Wands underneath that Leo energy. And then we have the Emperor Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy with the Seven of Swords right behind that in a reverse Aquarian energy. Old bad deeds. Old bad deeds. What did I say? They freaked out. They lashed out and they ran away. Sabotage because of fighting. It's like they put an abrupt end to something. They know that and they know they have to address it. They're coming across as an emperor now, which I actually kind of like because it is an emperor upright. That tells me that they are finding balance in thinking about this. Finding balance in trying to figure out how to move the wheel forward. But they know they have to address it. They have to. They don't want to. They're being reminded they have to. They're looking at all their options and they're like, God damn it, that's the one option I don't want to do. But I have to do that option if I want peace of mind and if I want peace in the situation and if I can heal the situation and move forward in the way I need it to. Too damn bad. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like... <laughs> I almost feel like a child energy, like, um, like, you know, when a child like does something wrong, right? And it's like, you do whatever to get the point across, put them on timeout, whatever, ground them, whatever. And then you address the situation again, and you're like, so? And they're like, yes. <laughs> do you know what you did? Maybe. It's like, you know, it's like, don't make me talk about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like, I actually do find that to be quite funny. Stop making me look at that option. I don't want that option. I know I have to take that option, but I don't want to. They're not going to have a choice. They're not going to have a choice. Um, they need to take this risk. They want to take this risk towards the Ten of Pentacles. So let's look at the Ten of Pentacles and see what it is that they're really wanting in detail what they're wanting. I do feel like it is a family. I do feel like it is long-term stability and really surrounding like a home environment. They could even be wondering if they should be buying a home, but I feel like it's about the, the fight that took place here. So I do feel like it is relationship oriented, okay? Let's look at the Gilded Tarot to clarify this. Look at the Ten of Pentacles. For Aquarius, regarding love from now until August 14th. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles for Aquarius, regarding love from now until August 14th. Ten of Pentacles for Aquarius regarding love from now until August 14th. Tell the Ten of Pentacles for Aquarius regarding love from now until August 14th. Okay. Tell this Ten of Pentacles. What does Aquarius want here with this Ten of Pentacles energy? Or what does this King of Swords want with this Ten of Pentacles energy? Oh, oh my, I love it when I'm right. Temperance in reverse, Sagittarian energy, Eight of Swords, fear, major fear, uh, Gemini energy, Two of Cups in reverse, Soulmate energy, Cancerian energy, and looky, 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 
That Queen of Swords showed up in a different deck. Air energy, Libra energy to be specific, could also be water. What they want is the queen. This king wants their queen, but they're terrified on how to fix it. They don't know how to fix it. That's not true. They know how to fix it. They just don't want to take that option because it terrifies them. That's why they're an Eight of Swords energy about it. Terrified they can't fix it without finding a loophole from like not talking about it. But they have to talk about it because this, this situation, this connection has been very um, bruised. Been very, very bruised. I don't feel like it's totally broken. I just feel like it's bruised. But the Queen of Swords is, is fine talking about it. Clearly, the Queen of Swords is fine talking about it while this king, if I could get these cards out, while this king is not. This king's not fine talking about it. The queen is. The queen's ready. The queen's just waiting. Queens are receptive. They receive. And the queen is waiting to receive this communication. But the king has all this energy. Terrified that it needs fixing. Terrified that the only way to fix it is to actually address what they did. Well, too damn bad. <laughs> right? Too damn bad. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles. Knight of Cups in reverse just came out. Piscean energy could also be water or fire holding back, majorly holding back. Um, they're also worried, uh, holding back, <laughs> holding back, talking. Uh, yeah, this king is holding back, talking about their emotions quite intensely. Again, I'm feeling like this person is definitely afraid of emotions. Um, but also they're, they're afraid this queen doesn't have love for them anymore. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles. Ooh. Queen of Pentacles. Wait, did I just say King of Pentacles? I said something. I don't even remember what I said. Anyway, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Could also be Earth or Water. Perfect partner. This king sees this queen as a perfect partner. Partner in crime is actually I just heard now. Partner in crime. Tell me about Ten of Pentacles for Aquarius. Overall energy, Nine of Cups, Piscean energy, wish fulfillment. It would be wish fulfillment for this king to get their Ten of Pentacles, to get this family, to get this long-term stability in a relationship. Oh, come back. Or even like to start a business, because I do feel business for a couple of them, um, for a couple of these kings. But they're holding back so much, holding back so much. And this, they look at this queen like they're perfect. They're the perfect partner, the perfect person to nurture something with, to nurture any long-term foundation with regarding this Ten of Pentacles energy, but they're so afraid. They're afraid. They're afraid because they know they have to talk about it and they don't want to talk about it. They want to heal this, but they're really afraid because they know there's only one way to do it. They're still ignoring it. They're still trying to find that loophole. <laughs> still trying to find that loophole. It's not there. It's not there. And this queen's just sitting, ready, receptive, I feel like this queen's doing her own thing. I don't like she's off gallivant gallivanting with like all these other people or anything as far as dating is concerned, but this queen's grounded, very grounded, very intelligent. This queen I'm picking up on is very, very smart, very quick. She's very quick. She or he, it's a queen. Um, gender doesn't matter. She's very quick. But she's very, she's patient. She's really fucking patient. She's really patient. <laughs> The queens that are watching, I had to learn to be patient. <laughs> uh, I had to learn to be patient with this one, is what some of you guys are saying. Um, yeah, and this king's definitely afraid this queen's lost love, but I don't think she has. I don't think she's had. I think she's lost a little respect for the king, but she hasn't lost love. She hasn't lost the love yet. All right, let's go ahead and pull some advice, Aquas. Any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? For those where this king ran away to another relationship or another situationship, I feel like that's already dead. I feel like it's already done. I don't think they're giving any energy to that anymore for those who are in that third party situation. Any advice? For my Aquarians regarding this spread. I mean, especially considering how obsessive this king is about trying to fix this situation. Even if they're physically in a situationship with someone, they're not mentally there and they're not emotionally there. I'm not condoning cheating. I'm not condoning third parties. I'm just the messenger. 
Any advice from my Aquarians regarding this spread? Any advice from my Aquarians regarding this spread? Any advice from my Aquarians regarding this spread? Oh, Wombat Spirit, be at home. 68, what does that break down to? A five, it breaks down to change, change and transformation. And it landed right on the loophole energy, trying to find that loophole, trying not to address not try not to address it like that's the one option I don't want to take I know I have to take it but I don't want to take it don't make me take it don't make me take it this is advice for the king to start getting comfortable with themselves in their emotional bodies start getting cozy start getting comfortable especially if they want a family or a home with this queen you can't have a family or a home with someone unless you're comfortable with your emotional body get comfortable <laughs> is what spirit's telling me get comfortable wow they're being a little sassy today with you guys any other advice for my aquas regarding this spread? Any other advice for my aquas regarding this spread? The queen's very comfortable with their emotional body is what I'm getting. Very comfortable. But yeah, this, this king needs to get there. This king needs to get there. Any other advice for my aquas regarding this spread? Any other advice? Ooh, co-create with spirit, crow spirit 17, breaking down to an eight. I feel like this is someone's guide, actually. Yeah, I feel like this is someone's guide, trying to guide the king through this situation. The queen doesn't need guidance. The queen doesn't need guidance. The queen's sitting pretty. This king needs a lot of guidance, though. And kings who are watching, because I know I can feel some of you watching. I can feel some of my kings watching. Um, I actually have a lot more men watching me than, you, than people would think. Um, but anyway, again, gender doesn't matter. But I do feel men watching me. Work with spirit on this. They're trying to show you that there's only one way to do this and you're resisting it. They're screaming at you to get comfortable. They're trying to guide you, but if you resist their guidance or you don't take their guidance, there's not a whole lot they can do for you, okay? They showed you the way on how to fix it, so fix it. Any other, <laughs> take the risk. Take the risk, King of Swords, <laughs> Grasshopper Spirit. Take the leap of faith. 30, breaking down to a three. This is basically my Fool card energy, which we did get twice. Where did my Fools go? Right? We got the Fool upright and the Fool in reverse. If you don't, if you don't act, King of Swords, if you don't act and if you don't get comfortable, this opportunity doesn't stick around very long. Because this Queen of Swords is very confident, very intelligent, very nurturing, they're going to catch someone's eye at some point. It's, it's time to act. It's time to act, act, take that leap of faith, get comfortable in your emotional body. They sh it's like, this is them like talking to me, like talking to me, through me, to you. We've showed you the way. We've showed you the way. We've showed you what to do. You, you just have to take that leap of faith. And it quite literally is a leap of faith, okay? Because it's something you're not comfortable with. Spider spirit, make your dreams real. What did I just say? 56 breaking down to 11. They're telling you, you know how to do this. You know how to fix it. You already have the answer. King of Swords, you already have the answer. Start manifesting it by making it happen by taking some action, okay? Any other advice for my aquas regarding this spread? I also feel manifestation energy from the queens involved in this. I feel like the queens are trying to help these masculine energies by just being them. These queens are very, like I said, these queens that I'm tapped into, very confident, very grounded, very intelligent, very intelligent. And some of these queens are very much still actively wanting these kings. And they're sending out that energy by thinking about them, by just having that aura of unconditional love. Not all of them are doing this, but some of them are doing this. Any other advice for my aquas? This queen knows what love's about. Sorry, they're bringing me back to this. This queen knows what love is about, okay? Keep in mind, you're a true pair. You're cut from the same cloth. There's probably a lot of telepathy going on as well for some of you. You two understand each other, okay? You two understand each other. This queen knows herself. This queen has self-love. They're not going to chase you, king. The queen's not going to chase you. Yeah, they know their worth. They're not going to chase you. Any other advice for my aquas? Regarding this spread. 
Overall energy. Oh, I love it. Nightingale spirit. Love is all around. 41 breaking down to a five. So you have two fives here. You have two fives, an eight, a three, and an 11, just for those who, you know, love numbers. This card, I freaking love this card. It's a reminder that, yes, this queen still has love for you. And yes, this king has love for the queen, even if they don't really know how to deal with it. <laughs> they do have love there, okay? Nightingale Spirit comes out for me as a reader when there's basically a very significant love interest in the proximity trying to come in, very specifically trying to come in, trying to talk. You see all that music? And heart chakra trying to communicate about emotions trying to deal with emotions but they're really not comfortable with it this king is really not comfortable with it they don't know how to do it they don't want to do it but they want to fix things so this king's gonna have to get comfortable get comfortable kings and take that leap of faith to make this manifestation come to fruition and like i said i was feeling manifestation energy from the queens as well it's almost like a like a how do i say that a team effort what's that word it's almost like a team effort without either of you realizing it that both of you are trying to manifest this the queen's already done her part is what i'm getting the queen's done her part the king has to take the step the king has to take the action the king has to get comfortable with their emotional body and the only way to fix this is to address what happened the queen's not going to take anything less let me put it that way the queen's not going to accept anything less than a conversation of what has already transpired okay and remember there's a lot of love here. A lot of love. This, And I'm not going to lie, kings are watching. I know that you guys are in a tough spot, but at the same time, there's a lot of stuff you got to work through in this to get comfortable with your emotional body. And until you do that, not a whole lot can happen for you regarding this queen. And it sucks, but you have to address it. And for some of you, I am getting an overdeveloped ego. Okay, I am getting overdeveloped ego. So make sure you're addressing that because this queen's not going to be with someone who has an overdeveloped ego. Okay. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that and you found it insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out along with Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and I will see you guys later. Namaste, Aquas.